Good afternoon. Can you hear me? All right, good deal. Um, my name is Jake Rodriguez. I'm a financial aid advisor with Lansing Community College. I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to talk with you a little bit this afternoon about financial aid. By raise of hands, how many of you have already submitted your free application for federal student aid for 2011 and 12 by raise of hands? Good deal. That's very promising. For those of you that have already submitted the free application for federal student aid, if you have not followed up with Lansing Community College, please do so as soon as possible to check on the status of your application so that way we can um, talk with you a little bit more about whether or not we're going to need additional information and or have we been able to package your aid. For those of you that have not submitted the application, please do so as soon as possible. Hypothetically speaking, if you were to submit the application today, allow it about a week and a half to two weeks to process, follow back up with Lansing Community College to check on the status of that. This afternoon, what we are going to do is we're going to um, present a video to you that will give you an overview uh, about the financial aid application process and some of the benefits of financial aid. It lasts approximately 20 to 25 minutes. And during the course of the video, what we'll do is we'll stop the video to highlight some of the key points about the application process and hopefully clarify some of the questions that you may have this afternoon. Once the uh, video does conclude, we'll give you an opportunity to ask some questions about your financial aid. If it's general in nature, by all means, um, feel free to ask the questions this afternoon. If it's a little bit more case specific and or sensitive in nature, and if you feel more comfortable addressing it with the financial aid representative one-on-one, -on -one, I can um, have a little bit of availability at the end of the presentation and or feel free to stop by financial aid. So uh, without further ado, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get started with the video. Again, the video will address most of your questions. If it does not address your question, feel free to ask questions at the end of the presentation. The thing for you all to remember as students is that even though you may or may not have what we call pending financial aid, unless you pay for tuition and fees out of pocket and full, you're going to be required to sign up for the fax payment plan. If you sign up for the fax payment plan, that does allow you to reserve your seats. Without signing up for the fax payment plan and not paying in full, your classes will be dropped. Remember that classes are available on a first-come, first-served basis, so it's really important to sign up for the classes, secure the classes, and or pay in full. Uh, this afternoon, I asked how many of you have already submitted the free application for federal student aid. That's an acronym for FAFSA. What is the operative word there? Free. Thank you very much. The Department of Education does not charge you a fee to submit the free application for federal student aid. Word of caution, there is a FAFSA.com that will charge you roughly $90 to assist you with applying for financial aid. FAFSA.ed.gov is the site that the Department of Education has established for you to submit your free application for federal student aid. Once you submit the FAFSA application, at that point in time we would begin to package your financial aid to see if you are going to be eligible for things such as Pell Grant, student loans, and work study. In most instances, a lot of scholarships today are requiring the FAFSA application to be submitted as well. So each and every academic year, you are going to be responsible for renewing your FAFSA application. Uh, keep that in mind because next school year, you will also renew the FAFSA for 2012 and 2013. From a financial aid perspective, I cannot stress the importance of students maintaining up-to-date records with their Banner student account. You must activate your account, initiate your account, as well as activate your email account. Our primary means of communication between financial aid and you as a student is going to be primarily by way of email. <laughs> so therefore, if we have any outstanding requirements that we're requesting from you as a student, that is where you need to go to make sure that you have that information firsthand. It is ultimately a student's responsibility to review their student account um, to maintain that particular uh, student file and or eligibility. In regards to student loans, we have two things that we promote very quickly uh, within our department and for good reason, and that is borrow responsibly, borrow conservatively, because what's the most important thing that you need to know about student loans that you're going to have to do at a later time and date? Pay them back. I just dealt with a student this afternoon that had $50,000 worth of student loan debt here at Lansing Community College and their plan was to pursue their bachelor's degree and they're already fifty thousand dollars in student loan debt here at LCC. That's an exception to the general rule of thumb however it is very real. 
So it's important to borrow responsibly, borrow conservatively, because at some point in time or another, you as a student, if you are the borrower, are going to have to pay back at that later time and date. Okay, before we conclude the presentation, on behalf of Financial Aid, I'd just like to thank you for the opportunity to talk with you today about Financial Aid. Um, one thing that I can assure you of is that in many instances, Financial Aid, the application process itself, can be a little bit cumbersome and overwhelming, but I assure you that the benefits outweigh that by far. Um, welcome to LCC. This is a, a great institution of higher learning. There are a lot of uh, endless possibilities here at LCC. Uh, so before I close this afternoon, I'm going to give you an opportunity to uh, ask some general questions. If you have any general questions re regarding financial aid, I'd be more than happy to help you out. Do we have any general questions regarding financial aid this afternoon? Correct. The question was in regards to the application process. Uh, once, they, uh, once you as a student submit the application, activate your email account, follow back up with LCC, and that is correct. Uh, that would be highly recommended so that way we can check on the status of your application to see if we need some additional information and or provide you with information as it relates to how we've been able to package your aid. Yes. Any other general questions this afternoon? Good question. In, in regards to um, this particular question, how long does it take um, for us to process certain things that we are requiring of you? Is that what I'm understanding? If we are requiring um, things such as verification um, as well as high school diploma or some of the other things. On the average, for us to process documents here at LCC Financial Aid, it's approximately four to six weeks this particular time of year. So you can continue to monitor your account, and uh, if you have any further questions, you can always call or stop by. Any last questions? Yes, ma'am. So Another good question. The question was, will you receive information from LCC uh, once you complete the application process? And that's actually going to be a two-part answer. First and foremost, the Department of Education will send you what we call a student aid report when you initially submit your FAFSA application. We as a college or institution will send you what we call an award letter um, right when the semester begins in August. Okay? That award letter will give you a brief overview as to what exactly you qualify for for things such as Pell Grant student loans and work study. So from that point in time, um, you will have a good idea of what is going to be offered to you. In the meantime, again, if you have any questions about financial aid, you want to follow up with our office by calling, stopping by, and or setting up an appointment. So you wouldn't actually know if you got qualified until August? Um, if you submit the FAFSA application, and if you do not have any outstanding requirements, we are actually packaging as we speak. Okay. So you can view your Banner student account. Many of you may already have financial aid awards on your Banner student account as we speak if you've completed the application process as well as satisfied any outstanding requirements. Last question, yes sir. Does that, does that address your question ma'am? But then when you're registering Excuse me. for class? Correct. In some instances, this is kind of, um, this is a good question because some students may not have completed the application process and or resolved all of their outstanding requirements before they begin registering for classes. So there may be a, a certain element of the unknown as far as what am I eligible or entitled to as far as financial aid is concerned prior to registering for classes. The only thing that we suggest is that if you decide to register for classes without having your financial aid package, please be aware that you are responsible for tuition and fees. Realistically speaking, if you do not have the resources to pay for tuition and fees outside of financial aid and if it does not work in your favor, please drop the classes by the last day of 100% so that you're not charged for the classes that you're not going to attend. You would have the option of paying in full and or securing the classes by way of the fax payment plan. The fax payment plan is going to delay payments uh, for a certain period of time or an extended period of time. So as I said, if you are in doubt and or don't have the resources to pay for tuition and fees outside of financial aid and if it does not work in your favor, please drop them. Um, in some instances, actually we have an August 1st priority deadline for the FAFSA application and the question was are there specific deadlines for any of the documents. Um, in regards to the FAFSA application, that is August the 1st. As far as any documents that are um, related to the FAFSA application itself, actually that is totally up to you. The ball is going to be in your court. You want to submit them sooner rather than later because of processing time and we want to be able to package your aid in a, in, in a timely fashion. Yep, generally speaking, all documents will take four to six weeks to process. Okay? 
All right, well, thank you for your time this afternoon. Good luck and continued success.